What's up, YouTube? This is Gene Terex, dude. Uh, it is August 27, 2021. I'm super happy to announce um, that uh, we've just passed uh, 1,000 subscribers. Um, just know that I, I appreciate all the subscribers, all the, all my all the people that have been with me since day one, and then also um, all the new subscribers. I appreciate you guys. Thanks for subscribing, and um, hopefully. I can make more videos and and continue with the videos and bring the knowledge and whatnot um i had a few other videos planned um but my base is for um ef honda civic guys so uh this video will be about uh efs or whatnot um so i've been thinking about how to fix this and um there's a lot of different issues that happen with glove boxes i've already made a um a video on glove box removal uh, a lot of the times when you go to the yards these two tabs down here little plastic uh fragile tabs are broken and so um that creates a pretty useless glove box but um there are a few rods. There's a rod on this side and a rod on the other side, which I believe can be removed. Um, I was thinking about doing a video on removing those and reattaching them to another glove box that I have. Um, but then I began to inspect this glove box. And so what I'm gonna do is remove the um, Phillips on that side and then there's a Phillips on the other side. And so, let me just do that real quick. Another thing I'm pretty happy to announce is that they released the uh, pumpkin spice latte. I'm a pretty big fan of that. Um, if you like Starbucks, head on over to Starbucks. They don't sponsor me, but um, yeah, I like I like Starbucks, so I'm happy that fall is here and they have that out so um i removed the two fill-ups and now i'm looking at this i don't want to break it there's already a crack here and so I'm trying to remove this without breaking it and i think just 30 years of grit and grime. Yeah, it's already breaking. Uh, so, I mean, it's already broken. This is already broken. I'm not gonna worry about breaking it. If it breaks, it breaks. If he dies, he dies. Drug him. I think I'm gonna grab a fill, uh, flathead and try to try to pry underneath here. Give me a sec. So normally what I do is um, try to figure things out off camera and then come back on camera um, and show everybody. But uh, there's a famous quote that I like to follow. It says uh, to learn from the mistakes of others so you can't make all the mistakes yourself. So I plan on since this is already uh, junk, I'm planning on uh, trying to pry this off on camera. So if it breaks, then we all know that, hey, that's not the way you're supposed to do it. Um, I'm not sure if anybody else has tried this, but if you have any knowledge on it, please uh, comment in the comment section. Leave a comment. That's off there. Sounds like I'm breaking stuff. Uh, so we'll see. There's just a lot of built built up grime. I have to get it. 
Maybe a razor blade or something. So what I'm doing is just prying, um, and like I said, there is a lot of built up black grime on here. And so this is actually uh, glued into there. So we're, we aren't doing this the right way. Um, we've broken a few pieces off of there uh, from the side there was a piece broken here so although it looks to be um, removable it's glued on and so so you will damage you'll damage this part if you try to remove it it's definitely not encouraged to try to uh, pry that off of there. So um, with that being unsuccessful, uh, this glove box, I believe was out of a USDM model. So it's, it, it, it is what it is. It was already broken. Um, I was gonna throw it away. So that's just, just a learning lesson. Um, don't try to pry it off you'll break it. Uh, you may have to, maybe if you heat it up, I'm assuming you can break the adhesive. Uh, that would probably be the right way to do it. Um, put some heat to it. Not too much because it's plastic and it'll warp, but uh, put a little heat on it. Maybe a, um, a, hot, a heat gu heating gun. I'm sure that should be enough to break, break the, the adhesive on. Um, without damaging the, uh, the whole glove box assembly. All right, so next thing we are gonna try to do is remove these tabs. Cause I have another glove box here. This one is in good condition, um, but there's one tab here and the other tab is missing. So my plan is to remove one of these tabs, transfer it over, and then I have a good glove box. So let's go ahead and try that. Let me grab the right tools. Okay, so uh, I grabbed a few, few tools. Um, probably not the right ones. I grabbed a, a Phillips that's really skinny. And can't really go in there, but I grabbed this needle nose to see if I can pull out the Um, rod. So I was just thinking, uh, I wish I would have uh, known then what I know now. Um, when you see these tabs broken off in the yard and they're still on there, just unscrew them and take them. You, you can always uh, have these. Um, you might be able to use them in the future. You never know. Uh, so again, if I knew that, what I knew now. This hindsight is 2020. Um, yeah, this is being really difficult. Um, I wonder if you can drill a hole in there. If you have like an elbow tool or something, something with a little elbow, you can try to probably stick that in there, like a um, a pick or one of the little dental tools. That might help to push that out and get that out. Uh, so, But I did cheat on the other side here. Uh, it was already kind of broken, so I broke off the, the tab there. And then all I did was just push the, push the rod through. And it's kind of like the BIH pin. Um, the dowel pin that goes in the uh, uh, shift linkage. So, with that out, we can install it on our other um, 
our other glove box. And, oh, just push it in a little bit there. And boom, this glove box is good to go. There are two tabs on there now. And I have a few extra spare um, latches. I'll just attach one of those on there. And this glove box is good to go. So, if you're looking for a glove box, hit me up, Facebook. Um, uh, Eugene, CR Steve, Quill and Tang. Uh, I'm on there. And then also at Instagram, um, at CRX underscore dude. Don't hit me up on my old account. I got locked out of there. I can't get back in. Uh, <laughs> so uh, I won't get your message if you send it to my old account. That's at CRX dude on Instagram without the underscore. Uh, so either way, uh, big shout out again to all the subscribers. Um, really appreciate you guys. Uh, you guys give me motivation. Um, remember that if you want to remove um, the latch section, that you problem, you'd be best to uh, heat it up to get the glue removed. Otherwise, you'll just break it. Um, and yeah, I hope the video was helpful to somebody. Uh, that's my goal with all my videos. Uh, if it helps at least one person, my job is done. And remember to subscribe to uh, my homies, uh, Young Static, EF Buddies, John Martin Bryant, um, Leo, uh, I think he got a new channel, Nate, uh, another EFM blog, um, Lazy Man Garage, uh, I'm forgetting somebody, oh, at, uh, uh, Seth CRX, or CRX Seth. I can't remember which way it goes, but shout out to him. Um, everybody's putting out some good content uh, and keeping the EFs on the road, which is the most important thing. Once again, uh, thanks for subscribing. Keep the EFs on the road. Peace.